Y'all ever heard of Jack Daniels whiskey? I'm sure you have. It's actually one of the most popular whiskeys in America today. Well, it turns out the man behind this well-known whiskey, Jack Daniel, has a black man named Nearest Green to thank for his success. Green was reportedly an enslaved black man given for a fee to a local preacher and distiller named Dan Cal in the mid-1800s in Tennessee. Jack Daniel, who grew up an orphan, was sent to Cal to be a chore boy. According to a 1967 biography entitled Jack Daniel's Legacy, Cal told Green to teach Daniel everything he knew. Green was known as a skilled distiller who specialized in sugar maple charcoal filtering, also known as the Lincoln County process. This method gave Green's whiskey a unique smoothness, and some historians believed it was inspired by the techniques of blacks who had used charcoal to filter their water and purify their foods in West Africa. Eventually, Daniel became Green's apprentice and was taught the Lincoln County process, which differentiates bourbon from Tennessee whiskey. This makes Green responsible for the Tennessee whiskey we know today. Call later sold his distillery to Daniel. Daniel appointed Green, by then a free man, to be the distillery's first master distiller. Reportedly, sometime after 1881, Daniel moved his distillery to the current Cave Spring Hollow location in Lynchburg, Tennessee, where many of Green's descendants went to work for him. Although no images of Green exist, a photograph shows one of his sons sitting next to Jack Daniel.